Welcome to Strawberry Land. I'm Strawberry Shortcake, and I'm almost finished trimming my Christmas tree. And a very nice tree it is. Goo! This is my sister, Apple Dumplin. Isn't she adorable? <laughs> She's just beginning to talk. Wed wagon, wed wagon. Sounds like someone wants a new red wagon for Christmas. We lost our old one in the river fudge. I love Christmas. Actually, I love every day. But Christmas is one of my very favorites. And I really love Christmas shopping. This year, I'm going to make a list of my friends, so I'll remember to get presents for all of them. There's Angel Cake. Angel Cake is so artistic. She bakes cakes that are so beautiful, you don't want to eat them. But so yummy, you just have to. It's going to be hard to find a special gift for Angel. I wonder what she wants. That's Orange Blossom. Orange is a wonderful gardener. She grows all kinds of things, flowers, fruits, and she makes the juiciest juice. What can I give Orange that's as yummy and colorful as her very own gardens? There's Ginger Snap. She's so creative and the best baker in the whole world. You should taste her cookies. How will I ever find a present for Ginger that's as deliciously delightful as her own creations? And I can never forget Huck. Huck is a real adventurer. He's always climbing or speeding past. Whoosh! On his skateboard. What on earth will I get Huck? Something fast? Something on wheels? It won't be easy thinking of a gift for him. Then there are my pets, of course. Custard my cat. Custard is a very special cat with a very special personality. It's going to be tough finding just the right present for someone so fussy. And Pupcake, my dog. Pupcake's very silly and lots of fun. What would he like? Something as funny and silly as he is? Please be careful, Pupcake. <gasps> call me Santa, call me Claus. Candy cane with chocolate sauce. What should I get for my friends? Perhaps a sled or feather bed. Sprinkled you lock, spotted tree frog, furry mittens, box of kittens. That's what I'll get for my friends. Call me Santa, call me Claus. Candy cane with chocolate sauce. What should I get for my friends? A blueberry, a game to play, perhaps a sled or feather bed. Sprinkled you log, spotted tree frog, furry mittens, box of kittens. That's what I'll get for my friends. Call me Santa, call me Claus. Candy cane with chocolate sauce. What should I get for my friends? A firehouse, a baby mouse, a blueberry, a game to play, perhaps a sled or feather bed. Sprinkled you log, spotted tree frog, furry mittens, box of kittens. That's what I'll get for my friends. Call me Santa, call me Claus. Candy cane with chocolate sauce. What should I get for my friends? A hockey stick, a stand to lick, a firehouse, a baby mouse, a blueberry, a game to play, perhaps a sled or feather bed. Sprinkled you lock, spot a tree frog, furry mittens, box of kittens. That's what I'll get for my friends. Furry mittens, box of kittens. What should I get for my friends? Phew. Nice singing, Strawberry. But remember, those high notes are not easy on this kitty's sensitive ears. Okay, Custard. She's a little grumpy, but all in all, a very fine cat. What's this? My Christmas list. In fact, I was just thinking about what to get for you. Cupcake. I guess I can sew this. And I suppose I can do my shopping without a list. <sighs> I'll make
make it easy for you. Get me nothing. I hope you'll change your mind, Custard. It's very nice to receive gifts. Next you'll say that it's as nice to give as to receive. That is what I was going to say. Sorry, Strawberry. Christmas is not for me. Everyone is so lovey and so dovey. I plan to take a nice long nap on December 23rd and wake up around January 1st. In fact, I should take some hibernation lessons. Any bears around? Tortoises? Someone please teach me how to hibernate in time for Christmas. 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 Mention hibernation? Hi, honey. You can't hibernate. You're a pony. Yes, yes. But my travels have brought me to many nations. And believe me, I am an expert. <laughs> oh, I've been to rivers of gold and hills of hard rock candy, to lands of ice cream and snow, and through scorching deserts. I know, I know. I've scaled the killer cliffs of Kilimanjaro where they keep everything in jars. Please continue. Don't mind if I do. Did you hear about the cats from Katmandu? The cats from where? Not where, Katmandu, who do what you want to do, too. Who do what? Not what, what you want to do, too. Huh? No, 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 they don't do ha huh at all. I don't care. Then don't ask so many questions. Now just close your eyes. It's a pleasure. Take some deep breaths. <sighs> and think special, beautiful thoughts. Do I have to? I guess any old ugly thought will do. Custard's hibernation seems to be working. I may just be the best horse hypnotist in the world. Yay! Thank you. You see, it's all in the voice. I speak very slowly in a very low... Whoa! Almost hypnotized myself there. I guess you really do want to wagon for Christmas, huh, Apple? I'm beginning to get ideas for everyone's presents. Especially mine, I hope. Of course, honey. I would never forget you. But right now, I'm trying to think of something that would be good for Huck. I hope I come up with a gift idea before I run out of time. Ginger, I can't wait to try these cookies. They're sort of a boring shape. I misplaced my Christmas cookie cutters. Or maybe I lost them. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, Ginger, but they're so delicious. You always make the best cookies. See? Everybody likes them. Shall we drink some of my sugar plum cider? Only problem is, 
I had to make it out of apples because I didn't have any plums. That's fine, Orange. I'm sure it's juicy full anyway. And I brought some angel cake, my personal favorite. I'm in cake heaven. It's very good to see you, but you're all a little early this year. I haven't finished my Christmas shopping. She means she hasn't started yet. Oh dear, will you have enough time? Of course, I know just where to take her. Bye everyone, we'll be back shortly. Meanwhile, make yourself at home. Just tell me what you're getting for me. I can't, it's going to be a surprise. I only wish I had an idea of what to get for Huck. We have a lot of shopping to do in a very short time. I know just the place. And here it is. Look, Holiday Land. In this land, I understand that sugar plums grow on many a tree. Angels sing while sleigh bells ring and jingle oh so merrily. I know! I told you about Holiday Land first, you Holiday know. Holiday Land, all the fun of the season. Holiday Land, where giving's the reason. Holiday Land is a place full of joy, a land full of good things for each girl and boy. Look what grows its mistletoes and the decorations, they are great. Rows and rows of wreaths with bows. Buy me a gift, we'll celebrate. Oh, honey pie. <laughs> On every street, a chance to meet a smiling gala with bell and drum. It's a treat to feel the beat of your tidings. Tumpty tum tum. Holiday land, all the fun of the season. Holiday land, where giving's a reason. Holiday land, it's a nice land, of course. A land full of gifts for each pony and horse. <laughs> Every night a star shines bright with a hope for peace forevermore. For good health and cheer throughout the year, let us hold our hands from shore to shore. Holiday land, all the fun of the season. Holiday land, where giving's the reason. Holiday land, it's a place full of joy, a land full of good things for each girl and Can find lots of toys. A land full of good things. A land full of joys. Welcome to Sugar Plumdales. Can I help you? Yes, please. But first, have a plum. <laughs> Thank you. These are very juicy and very sugary. I'm not called the Sugar Plum Fairy for nothing. So, tell me how I can help you. I'm looking for a present for my friend Orange Blossom. Tell me about her. Excuse me, esteemed fairy, but why should she tell you about her? If we know a little about her, it makes it easier to find a gift she will like. I'll tell you what she would like. She'd love one of these fabulous saddles. But she doesn't even ride horses. And she's not a horse herself. We need to get Orange something that she will like. Something that is important to her. Who wouldn't want a saddle? Oh, honey, put yourself in Orange Blossom's place. Yes, yes, what kinds of things does she like to do? She's very fond of planting and gardening. And she likes every kind of fruit. She loves to make sugar plum cider when she has sugar plums. Then this sugar plum bush might be the ideal gift. Thanks so much. How much do I owe you? How about some luscious berries? They're out of season here. 
They're yours. Merry Christmas. Juicy. Very juicy. <clears throat> Maybe a little too juicy. Here we are at the Candy Cane Mart. This is where we get a gift for Ginger Snap. And I know just the perfect gift for her. A lovely saddle. I don't know, honey. Maybe that would be the perfect gift for you. But I think Ginger would like something related to cookies. There sure are a lot of candy canes here. Not that that's a bad thing. Help! Huh? Did those candy canes say help? It sure sounded like help. Over here! Over here! Someone did speak. But who? Ever hear of too much of a good thing? Impossible. <laughs> So someone was speaking to me. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. And I'm Candy Candy Clerk. Oh. I know, there's too much candy in my name. <laughs> but even worse, there's too much candy in the store. What do you mean? All we have are candy canes and more candy canes. Everyone who shops here gets so full from eating candy canes that they have no room for their Christmas dinners. Every hour there are another 10,000 candy canes. Why? Someone flicked the amazing candy cane machine switch and something happened. Amazing candy cane machine? That reminds me of the amazing cookie machine that my friend Ginger invented. I know of the perfect gift. But first, I'll need your help. If someone doesn't stop the machine, the world will soon be overrun with candy canes. Do you know what's wrong, Candy Candy? Unfortunately, no. Well, I'd be very honored to help you investigate, but I'll need your help. Do you think you can form one of those pyramids? Yep. Okay. Uh, Whee! Uh, Ta-da! Whoa! Hmm. Look, I think I found the problem. The switch is turned to high. Aha! Uh -huh. Maybe we should turn it down to medium. A very excellent idea. Oh dear. I thought that would do it. How about if we turn it to low? Now, that's an idea. <laughs> You're a hero! Hooray for Strawberry Shortcake! Hooray! Hooray! Thank you, but I couldn't have done it without your help. Perhaps your friend Ginger might like these. Cookie cutters, allow me to pay you with some strawberries. She will love these. You have already done more than enough for us. Allow us to present you with a collection of the world's best candy canes. Oh, thank you very much. This wagon will be perfect for my sister. And I can share these candy canes with all my friends. You don't care about having a present all to yourself? No, honey. In fact, I think I might even like giving gifts more than receiving them. What an idea! I never thought we'd get out of there. I always wondered what too much of a good thing meant. And now I know. I mean, I think I know. That is... Ahem. <clears throat> Look, my sweet pony. We're entering Hollywoods. The Holiday Land Forest. This 
must be the most gorgeous forest in the world. Oh, I don't know about that. I've seen many other gorgeous forests. Forests of redwoods, of pines, and s'mores. Yes, but this one is very incredible. Okay, where do we find a saddle for Angel? Oh, honey, I don't know what Angel would do with a saddle. Why not? Who wouldn't love a saddle? I love saddles. Well, saddles are very nice, but you are a pony. Saddles are good for ponies, but Angel is not a pony. She could be half girl and half pony. I have met creatures like that before in my travels. Merry Christmas! We're up here! Merry Christmas! The angels on top of the trees are talking to us. Oh! I love trees, but they sometimes get in the way. I also need to find a present for Custard. I just know she'll change her mind about presents when she wakes up. I can help. What does she like? Well, she enjoys sleeping. Then how about a sleeping willow? But that might make her want to sleep more. Aha! Maybe she needs an alarm tree. I don't think so. She gets angry when someone wakes her up. Hmm. This is a tough one. Did I mention that she was a cat? A cat? Well, why didn't you say so? She will need a cat tree. Something that looks like her and that she can use for scratching. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Huh. That cat tree would be perfect for Custard. And here is a special angel for your friend Angel. Wow! Two gifts in the same place. A cat tree for Custard and an angel for Angel. That's what I call progress. You are very welcome. Are you sure Custard wouldn't rather have a saddle? No, the cat tree will be very perfect if she ever wakes up from her nap. <sighs> I can't believe Custard is still asleep. Neither can Pup Cake. <sighs> Does anybody want another cookie? No thanks, Ginger. I couldn't take another bite. Me either. They're that bad? That good. Oh, they're the best cookies I've ever eaten and eaten. Same here. I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> What's taking Strawberry so long? I hope she's not caught in the snowstorm. I'm sure she's doing better than we are. Still, how long does it take to go Christmas shopping? <laughs> Maybe Strawberry's lost. How can she be lost? She's with Honey. Deck the halls with boughs of holly, fa la 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 la. Have I told you about how I think a saddle would be an excellent gift for Pupcake? Oh, honey, what would a dog do with a saddle? How would you feel if Pupcake gave you a bone? A bone? That would be silly. What would a pony do with a bone? We must be on Carol Lane. <laughs> jingle bells, chestnut bells, jingle all the way. Tra -la 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 That's it! Right chestnut bells? No, a collar with bells. Cupcake would love that. He loves to make noise. And then we would know when he was coming. Honey, are you sure the shop is on Carol Lane? Positive. I've been there a million times. Or was it once? But I know it has a bright red door. 
or a green one? I hope we find it soon. It's getting pretty dark. <gasps> Burn and cold. Here it is. This is the place to get the bells. Strawberry Shortcake, and this is my friend Honey Pie Pony. Merry Christmas! How can I help? We're looking for a bell. <laughs> You've come to the right place. We sell every kind of bell in the whole world. It sure looks that way. Do you have a saddle with bells? No, we have cowbells. What about stirrups with bells? Honey? No, we have jingly jingle bells. Reins with bells? A horse blanket with bells? How about sleigh bells or a doorbell? I suppose a feed bag with bells is out of the question. Wait, I have just the thing. You do? An elephant bell! Honey, look! Would you trade some fresh strawberries for this bell collar? But of course! A bell collar they have. Thank you very much. Fa la 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 la! Let's see. We have the sugar plum bush for orange, the cookie cutters for ginger, the bell collar for cupcake, the cat tree for custard, the wagon for apple, and the angel for angel. But we still have nothing for Huck. Maybe we should check out Holidayland's northern outskirts. It could be a tad treacherous, but we can handle it. What's so bad about Holiday Lance Northern Outskirts? What's so bad? The Northern Outskirts are the far reaches of the North Pole. It's slick with ice. A horse could slip right off the top of the world and into a bottomless crevice. Did you ever hear about Ralph the Purple-Tailed Reindeer? Gee, I didn't know there was a Purple-Tailed Reindeer. Of course you didn't. Ralph went to the northern outskirts, slipped into a crevice, and was never seen again. We have to go ahead with it. Really? My mind is made up. Huck is my friend. I can't forget his present. All right, Strawberry. We'll chance it. Even though it's freezing, it's scary, and those who go there seldom return. Or was that the northern outskirts of New Mexico? Thanks for pulling the wagon for me, honey. Brr. It's getting very cold. We must be near the North Pole. It's not nearly as cold as the South Pole, or even the Flag Pole. Whoa! I think we might have to head home without a present for Huck. Seems like the wind is taking us even farther away from home. This 
might turn out to be one of my most memorable trips. I'd better get a lot of pictures. Smile! Ho, ho, ho! Oh, oh, oh! It's you! It's really you, Santa! I can't tell you how very happy I am to be here! I never ever thought I'd meet you, have a chance to see your face. I never ever thought I'd travel to this amazing place. I never ever thought I'd be here, out of everywhere I roam. I never ever thought I'd visit this very merry home, home, home. Hello, ho, ho, I'm here. I'm happy as can be. I feel it's real, but could it be I'm dreaming? Hello, ho, ho, I'm here. It's very plain to see. Tonight, the brightest star for me is gleaming. I never ever thought I'd meet you. I waited for this day. In the hope that I could greet you as you loaded up your sleigh. I'm very, very pleased you came here. How far you had to roam. I hope you have a jolly visit to my home. Ho, 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 ho. Hello, ho, ho, she's here. Ho, ho. She's happy as can be. Ho, ho. She feels it's real, but could it be she's dreaming? Hello, ho, ho, she's here. It's very plain to see. I'm happy you're here too, Strawberry. I hear you've been, as they say, very good. Now, what would you like for Christmas? Why are you crying, Strawberry? Are you afraid you won't get what you want? No. It's that I'm afraid I won't find what I want for my dear friend, Huck. I have so many very fine friends. And I just want to get everyone something that is right for them. Oh, Strawberry, trust me. You will find a wonderful gift for your friend. I will? How do you know? I know all about your friend, Strawberry. How do you think I know who's awake and who's sleeping? Now, what do you want for Christmas? Uh, I don't know. I don't really want anything. Just something for Huck. And a saddle, a brush, and some reins, a new blanket, some more detangler, lots of carrots, some hay, some new horseshoes. Excuse me, Santa, but I think we'd better be going. Already? You haven't met Mrs. Claus or seen my sleigh. And I'd like to, but... And I haven't finished telling Santa what I want. I'm sure he has a very good idea. Right. I'll get everything ready. Of course, it'd be a lot easier if I had a saddle. <laughs> ho, ho! Come to think of it, I need to be going myself. It's almost Christmas Eve. Oh, dear. I still don't know what I'm getting hot. I have a feeling you will. And soon. Really? I'm Santa, remember? I know things. You sure do. Thank you, Santa. Getting to meet you was the best present ever. It was an even better present for me. Bye, Strawberry. Bye, Santa. Have a very Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. These are terrible road conditions. They remind me of the time that... Later, honey. I don't think we'll make it back to Strawberry Land in time for Christmas. Oh, honey, don't think like that. Huh? 
What? Take that! You take that! <laughs> that looks very fun! You've never had a snowball fight before? Why, I was one of the organizers of the first Snowball Olympics. Why, I've seen some of the snowiest snow in the world. On Mount Powder and, of course, Flaky Heights. <laughs> Take that! Snowballs. He'll love them. I still think a nice saddle is the way to go. Okay, the snowballs are all loaded up. We have a very long trip ahead of us, so we better get going. Giddy up. Sorry, Strawberry. And so I found the perfect gift for each and every one of you. But they got a little wet. That's okay, Strawberry. You can give me mine a little wet. Little wet? Well, actually, they are very, very wet. That doesn't matter. What counts is that we are together. Christmas is about love, not about presents. The present I like best is better than a prize. It has no special wrapping. It's not in a store. It is a gift of friendship and is well worth waiting for. Friends, hold your hand. Friends, make you smile. But the present I like best, you never have to buy. It comes without a ribbon, it comes without a bow. It is the gift of friendship, the finest gift I know. Friends, hold your hand. Friends, make you smile. They are always there for you. Friends, make life worthwhile. There is one. Okay, Strawberry, you can stop the joke now. What joke, Orange? You said our gifts were ruined. They are! Then what are these? My goodness! Where did these come from? The new wagon! Thank you, Strawberry! This is perfect! Mine, too! 
How did you know what I wanted? Huh? Good morning, everyone. Boy, do I feel rested. Merry Christmas, Custard. Something for moi? After a good week's sleep, I've changed my opinion of gifts. This is worth waking up for. Snowballs! Cool! No, even better than cool! They're cold! How did you keep them frozen? It was very difficult. What? For me? Oh my, Popcake, you shouldn't have. A bone? A bone for a pony? I mean, really. See, honey? Remember what I told you? When you give a gift, you should think about who is receiving it and what that person would like. I get it. Now I get it. Oh, I almost forgot, honey. I have something for you. A brand new saddle! How did you ever know what I wanted? What? friends around me. <sighs> Plus, after my shopping adventure, I think I will be needing a little nap. That was a great joke, Strawberry. For a minute, I thought our presents were ruined. Well, really, I... Thank you, Santa. Thank you so very much. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! The berryest ever!